It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, today's video is on Peggy, Miss Peggy actor, uh, Joanne Moore. Uh, have you ever wondered what happened to Peggy on the Andy Griffith show? Why she left? I'm going to give you the answer. Stick around. During the Andy Griffith show's eight season run, Sheriff Andy Taylor had few serious girlfriends and several one-off dates. One of his more serious love interests was Peggy McMillan, portrayed by Joanna Moore. The nurse exited Mayberry shortly before Helen Crump, Andy's eventual wife, came on the scene. Now, while Peggy only lasted a few episodes, she left a lasting impression on many fans, including me. Some fans argued that Andy belonged with Peggy and not Helen, including me. <laughs> they proclaimed that Andy Griffith had more chemistry with Joanna Moore, so why was Peggy McMillan written off the show? According to the Andy and Don, The Making of a Friendship, a classic American TV show, a 2015 book by Daniel DeVise, Joanna Moore and Andy Griffith might have had a closer connection than many people think. While their on-screen uh, love connection fell flat for the team behind the Andy Griffith show, things were cozier off-screen, allegedly. The duo had an affair. Device points out that, uh, that Moore was not Griffith's first and or only affair. His ongoing romance with Anita Corso uh, was reportedly the worst-kept secret on set. Griffith was so smitten with her uh, that he proposed, despite being married to his first wife at the time. Despite Griffith and Moore having rumored a romance offset, it doesn't appear to have influenced her character's departure from Mayberry. Instead, Moore's character was written off uh, the series due to concerns about how well she matched the show's overall vibe. According to several sources, Moore and her character were considered too glamorous to set down roots in Mayberry. Peggy McMillan's wealthy background was mentioned during her time in Mayberry and was even considered a roadblock for Andy and Peggy's potential relationship. Ultimately, the show's writers opted to uh, not to continue the relationship. After Peggy disappeared, Helen Crump appeared in a short time later, and the rest was history for Andy Taylor. And that's why. And uh, I totally disagree. I thought they had a great chemistry. I didn't feel that she had this rich girl vibe at all, uh, and probably wouldn't even have had the smidgen if they hadn't brought it up to begin with. But she was had that country girl accent. She was, I just, I thought they did, uh, that, that she was my pick. I liked Helen, uh, not near as much as I like Peggy, but uh, it's just a shame. Although she did wind up getting pregnant with Tatum O'Neill like right after that. So uh, yeah, I don't think that would have been able to write that in. <laughs> the Andy Griffith show. Oh, anyway. That's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts of trivia. Guess what it's on today? It's on the Andy Griffith Show. Check that out, please, and please uh, subscribe. Uh, the link is in the description below. If you need a link directly to that video, let me know, and I'll give it to you in the comment section. Not a big deal. I'll do it for you because I love you. Um, and I guess that's all I got for today, except the classic rock and country music facts trivia and the Beverly Hillbillies facts trivia off till Monday. Uh, my Faith and Entertainment channel. I'm recommending a movie today. It's called Play the Flute. Great Christian movie. Uh, and and, and it would be good for teenage kids to watch as well. If you got any kind of teenage kids or grandkids or whatever. Uh, it's just a really, really good movie. Um, so if you need the uh, link to that, hit me up in the comment section on that too. And I'll send it to you. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you have a great day. God bless and praying for you.